Before that midnight oil and beds are burning, we find out in a little over an hour from now whether or not that album will be uh, in its ninth week at number one as the Top 30 Countdown comes up at 11 o'clock this morning. The official K97 t-shirts are here. I don't know if you've seen them yet, but they are nice-looking shirts, and they're just six ninety-seven. You can pick yours up at Panorama stores all over town, and while you're there, if metal's your thang, well, you can enter to win one of two trips for two to see the Monsters of Rock live July 20th at the Joe Albee Stadium in Spokane. Can. Now, this is the, you know, the tour you've heard so much about. Van Halen, the Scorpions, Metallica, Dokken, and Kingdom Come, all on stage, all playing full sets. And the tour presented by Sport Tours and K97. We're making the draw for that July 14th. And that was a funny movie, right? Sweet baby James. Before that, the Stones and Luxury, Men Without Hats, and Steely Dan were all there. Just after 11 o'clock, the Top 30 album Countdown is standing by. Classic hits. Hi, this is Mark Summers in the K97 Growers 3C Cider Cruiser. Now, if you're thinking to yourself this morning, hmm, what should I do today? Well, if you like jazz, come downtown to the 9th Annual International Jazz Festival in Sir Winston Churchill Square. The Big Miller Band is performing today, also today and tomorrow, David Friesen Trail. Jazz City 88, it's all over tomorrow, so don't miss it. Now, if you're heading to Horlack Park this morning by vehicle... Maybe hold on till after 12 noon, because they had a road race this morning, and the entrances are closed, all right? The zoo isn't closed, I know that for sure, because the mighty K-97 team are playing in the Zoo Olympics starting at 1 o'clock. Come out and cheer them on. They need it. <laughs> I'll be back to tell you more in the K-97 Growers BC Cider Cruiser. Edmonton's Top 30 Album Countdown on K-97 Classic Hits. In the City of Champions, huh? 19 degrees in Edmonton right now, and at Pro Style this afternoon, here's Shane Michaels. Thanks very much, Rob. We're at a brand new... Dad Benatar and K-97, all fired up. Neil Young and Gene Whelan in there, too. Coming up, Cheap Trick with their latest, 231. This is Rob Berg. If you're something uh, looking for something a little extra special to celebrate this weekend, it's uh, National Nude Weekend in the U.S., the Naturist Society down there. It's a countrywide organization. They hope the event encourages people to don their birthday suits as well as providing committed nudists a chance to uh, get together and share in all the good times. Just too darn bad we don't have that society up here, huh? Meanwhile, celebrating today, uh, celebrations of a different sort, I guess, at uh, Pro Style Fitness, Shane Michaels. Thanks very much, Rob. Under the boardwalk, John Cougar Mellencamp on K97. Two minutes past three o'clock. Satellite weather, just about perfect this afternoon. A little breeze, 20 degrees. Hot tomorrow, too. Sunday's high, 27. And at uh, Pro Style Fitness this afternoon, here's Shane Michaels. Thanks very much, Rob. Grand opening is next Saturday. It's all at Pro Style Fitness Center, 144 Avenue, 94th Street in Dickensfield Mall. K97, midnight oil before that, which is gone from the number one position on K97's Top 30. Found out yesterday morning, in excess has taken over. Midnight oil eight weeks at number one here in town just about 15 away from 11 ted kennedy is in 11 o'clock this morning with rock and renaissance before that two of k97's concert presentations are coming up in the next set he has 60 things of juice in the bread oh he has 60 containers of juice he's got uh, six cans of beer and eggs you can tell you can tell sharky's a bachelor anyway in case you're just waking up we're cleaning uh, sharky's apartment this morning uh, last night in calgary the topic was assisted suicides the reform party held a phone in town hall meeting Preston Manning says that he is surprised at how many people support assisted suicides. You don't just get led by one group or the other. Seventy percent of the callers supported assisted suicides under certain conditions. Oh, and ladies, if you're on the way, you might want to consider self-hypnosis. A new study suggests that pregnant women who practice self-hypnosis have an easier time with delivery. It is 7.03. Playoff action resumes this evening. More on that when we check in with K97 Sports Next. Yo, play the name game. Expect more from C. Yes. It's three minutes after seven. John's here with K97 Sports. We're having a big argument about Sharon's cooking abilities here. So. I'm just going to cook breakfast. Don't okay, burn I'll, the okay. bacon. Don't burn the eggs. Don't burn the toast. Shut up. Oh. Oh, nice. You can see the kind of fun we're having. John, playoff action resumes tonight. We're not going to get the Leaf game, right? We no. Calgary, Vancouver? Yeah. Okay. Mark Messier and Sergey Zubov each picked up three points, leading the men from Madison to a 6-0 victory over the Islanders in game one of their series yesterday. Mike 
Nick Richter, 21 saves for the shutout. Well, Richter sparkled. Ron Hextall struggled, gave up all six goals in the first two frames. Game two of the series goes tonight. Peter Bondra and Joey Juno each tally two points. The Caps shocking Pittsburgh 5-3. to three. Super Mario scored twice for the Pens. Dominic Kasich, brilliant between the pipes. Buffalo blanking Jersey 2 to nothing. Dale Howarchuk, two assists. And in Dallas, Russ Courtnell collected three assists. Brent Gilchrist popped the pair. The Stars with a 5-3 victory over St. Louis. Phil Housley and Brad Hall each had a pair of points and a losing cause tonight. Other than the, the Islander Ranger matchup, San Jose is at Detroit. Vancouver visits Calgary and Chicago travels to Toronto. Canadian women's hockey team doubling up on the USA 6-3 yesterday, winning the World Championships. Canada sweeping at the World Curling Championships. Rick Folk and Sandra Peterson both captured World Curling crowns yesterday. The Blue Jays salvaged a series split in California with a 5-4, 10-inning victory over the Angels. The Expos, meanwhile, swept in Colorado as a rocky shaded Montreal 6-5 and 10. And the Trappers trim Phoenix 4-3 in 11. Finally, in golf, Hale Irwin wins the Heritage Classic. Ray Floyd captured the PGA Senior, and Val Skinner finished first at the LPGA Atlantic Championship. That's K97 Sports. Looks like we're into the double-digit range today. Sharon has K97 Satellite Weather next. Discover the quest for fortune, million-dollar sweepstakes. The art of entertaining at the Sidetrack Cafe tonight. Sharon, the forecast is calling for some decent weather again this week. Not well, quite as going, warm as the weekend, though. No, uh, later on the week, it's going to be all right. Bruce highs between 16 and 18 degrees for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today and tomorrow, lots of sunshine up to 10 for a high. Today, 14 tomorrow. We drop down to minus one overnight. A perfect day for spring cleaning. In Edmonton this morning, we were at two degrees with some sunshine. It is 7.07. I'm Sharon Mallon with Sharky, Johnny Sex, Sex Smith, and Bruce Kenny in the K97 Breakfast Club Monday morning live. As we spring clean Sharky's apartment. A monumental job, but we're tackling it well. John's done a fine job in the cupboards. Dave, the humanoid human, our engineer, working hard on the dishes. I've done the dusting. Man, this, you won't recognize the place, Sharky. Here's the Starship on K97. It's the Starship on K97. I can't believe we're arguing over whether the bacon should be cut in half or not. We came here to clean, Sharon, not to cook bacon. Are you with me? Use the sharp knife, okay? Do you want a sharp knife? Right here. Yeah, use the sharp knife. Now, this is one I cut my finger on, so be careful. <laughs> no, I have combs that are sharper than Sharky's knives. Careful. It's Monday morning live as we clean Sharky's place. We're going to take like about an hour and a half break here for breakfast, though. <laughs> hey, we've done, we've done a lot, don't you think, Sharkster? Yes, thank you very much. Is that much. a real tree you over there? You guys want to come in like every couple of weeks? Yeah. Over, is that a real tree over there? No, of course not. It'd be dead if it was real. Sharon, do you want to? Oh, it's oh well. You got to clean the leaves. You want to dust the leaves yeah, on the tree a little later in the morning? No. Okay, thank you. You're not being very cooperative this morning. I have to tell you, it's 12 minutes after seven. About a half an hour from now, we're going to find out who wins the trip to London to see the Phantom of the Opera with K97 CFRN TV and the Journal. So stick around for that if you're entered. Right now, though, it's time to award a ceiling fan with K97 and Ridgewood Homes. You know, seeing is believing. To be eligible for these prizes, what you have to do is drop by Ridge, uh, Ridgewood Homes. It's easy to find, John, right across the street from Indian Lakes Golf Course, and just go in. You find out where the K97 clock is, in which home, and in which room. Okay. And also fill out an entry form. You get a shot at winning a $40,000 top quality three bedroom manufactured home. See? So today we're drawing for a ceiling fan. If we could have a drum roll, please. Thank you very much. And we want to congratulate Terry Elbrink. <laughs> Good going, Terry. That'll keep you cool as a cucumber all summer long. Our daily prizes also include color TVs and microwave ovens, so be sure and make it out to Ridgewood as soon as possible. We're making the grand prize draw on Monday, so you've got to do it this week. 13 after 7, 2 degrees, high today of 10, and warming up as we get into the week. Boy, what a gorgeous weekend it was. Sharky's here with a look at K97 traffic. Uh, you got anything for us yet? Well, we have no accidents. I'll update traffic again in 7 minutes. Sharky checking traffic on the K97 Breakfast Club. If you ever swelled up the search for Edmonton's laziest husband every day on the station famous for fun K97. It's quarter after seven. Our temperature two degrees, ten for a high today. A nice sunny morning as we continue with the sweeping, with the vacuuming, the washing. It's spring cleaning at Sharky's house this morning on K97's Breakfast Club. Here's Paul McCartney and Live and Let Die. When you were young 
19 minutes after 7 and 2 degrees, a high today of 10 as we clean Sharky's apartment and uh, doing a darn fine job. And you did a fine job in the cupboards. I want you to know that. Well, thank you. I don't think we should vacuum yet, though. We don't want to wake everybody up in the building. Oh, no, we'll hold off. Like hold they're up. not awake already? We've been making enough noise to... Well, maybe you... No, you should, you should only vacuum after you eat because we haven't eaten yet. Well, I was going to say, we're going to want to wake the building up. Sharon's made so much bacon here, we could feed half and of it. I think so. Burning. I always have a trouble with portions. I never quite know how... <laughs> I always, honestly, that's the problem. Really? Have. Yeah. Well, you go by what one person eats, and then you multiply that by the number of people, okay? <laughs> not a very good judge of that. So we got three, five, so we got seven people, because Mark's mom and Andrew are here. Enough so bacon about, to feed 700. About 14 <laughs> pieces of bacon. Yes, and you've got approximately... About 34. 62. <laughs> well, Sharky, we noticed you got two or three jars of bacon bits. Maybe we could make up some bacon hey. bits for you. <laughs> make your own bacon bits with the Breakfast Club. Don't forget, we give away that trip to the family. Phantom in London in 20 minutes time. Right now, we're at 20 minutes after 7. Well, police say they are having just a heck of a time trying to find the third person in connection with the Donalesco murder Saturday morning. Another doctor has come out in sport of keeping Edmonton's Grey Nuns Hospital up and running the way it is. And I have a tip this morning on improving your sex life. No, it has nothing to do with bacon. I'll have the details. Bacon, bacon. From uh, John. A family show. Details from the K97 newsroom at 7.30. Come with us into another dimension. This is the K97 Classic Club Zone. Okay, Classic Club members, today we're cleaning Sharky's apartment. Next Monday, it could be your yard. We all know what a pain yard work is, so we thought, Sure, it'll cook bacon on the barbecue. Yeah, that's right. Why not have the Breakfast Club go out and help somebody with their yard work? This would be a particularly nice prize for, oh, say, a single mother who doesn't have the time to have someone come in to do it or can't uh, do it herself. Careful, Or maybe your mom and dad or your grandma who, uh, you know, just doesn't get around. It'd be a nice gift. So if you'd like to enter you or your family and I mentioned once again, no acreages, please. I got some good practice in on the weekend. How about you? Uh, didn't get around to it. Uh, classic ah. <laughs> classic club members, you fall through the K97 hotline at 448-9797. And now it's time to name that tune on Sharky's Machine. Sharon just touched her face with a tea towel. Now what are we going to do? Yeah. Name the tune, 4518097. Sanitize it. Sharky, you better get us a clean one. 22 <laughs> after 7, 2 degrees. Uh, any traffic problems so far? Nope, no accidents, no stalls coming in from Spruce Grove, Fort Saskatchewan, from Leduc, even Sherwood Park. No major problems. Lots of construction, though. It's going to be all around the place. A whole bunch of locations on the white mud, so maybe leave yourself some extra time. 107th to 127th, that's east and westbound on the yellow. Head and to the Grote Road, 107th Avenue. Watch yourself and give us a call if you see any problems. Sharky checking traffic on the K97 Breakfast Club. Well, I got my cellular, so I'd be accessible all the time. Hurry, today's the final day to save at Edmonton Motors, 115th Street and Jasper Avenue. 23 after 7, Kelly, do we have a player? Yes, we do, Bruce. We have Chris. Hi, Chris. Good morning. Name the tune. Uh, Ricky, don't lose that number. Of course, Ricky, don't lose that number by Steely. Yeah, very good. Okay, Chris, first off, uh, are you a golfer? Yeah, I try. Okay, I well, handle. we got a deal for you here. You need to pick up some balls or something, a $25 gift certificate from the Bat of Bobs, okay? Oh, great. All right. Uh, classic club member, Chris? Yes, Sam. Hey! hey, 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 hey. Very good, Chris. Uh, we want the neighbors up for sure now. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we also have for you a double guest pass for Saturday night at the Night Owl Theater at the Garno. It's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. you got a shot at winning meatloaf tickets, okay? Oh, great. And there's also going to be prizes. Ooh, David B. Harry's going to be giving away T-shirts from Wizard T-shirts. So have some fun doing the Time Warp Saturday night, okay? Good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> See you later, Chris. You betcha. Bye-bye. 24 after 7. Ooh, I can't wait to dig into that burnt bacon turns make it over there. Clean and Sharky's house this morning with Steely Dan on K97. And Ricky, don't lose that number. Right now, it's two degrees. Number. Steely Dan on K97's Breakfast Club. And Ricky, don't lose that number. We're at 27 after 7 as we continue with this back-breaking cleaning work at Sharky's place. It's spring cleaning, two degrees with the Spin Doctors on K97. Two. 
not eating that burnt toast, Sharon. You're eating the burnt toast, okay? You're eating it. 7.31 as well. We've taken a break from the spring cleaning at Sharky's. Give them to the birds. Eat a little breakfast. Yeah, yeah give it to the birds. Our temperature, 2 degrees. The high today, 10. John has all the playoff action for us in a moment. I'm Bruce Kenyon. and Sharon Mallon's here with the K97 Information Updates. All right. For some reason, city police are having trouble getting a detailed description of the third guy wanted in the Donalesco murder. You're off to London to see the Phantom. Oh, I don't believe this. This is fantastic. In addition, you're also going to opening night here in Edmonton. Oh. <laughs> Let me guess. You've never won anything before, right? Oh, no, I've won stuff. <laughs> like this. Oh, Nothing my. as good as this. Oh, my. I'm just weak in the knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fabulous. Joanne, you'll be flying courtesy of Canadian Airlines. It's three nights accommodation from the Edwardian Hotels. And, of course, tickets to see the Phantom in London and in Edmonton. Oh, I'm Oh, I don't believe it. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Joanne. On oh. behalf of K97, the journal at CFRN TV, we hope you have a wonderful time, and oh, I think you will. Thank you very, very much. Have a wonderful day, Joanne. Thank you. 18 minutes now before 8. Our temperature, 2 degrees. 10 for the high. Sharky, you got any traffic problems for us? No accidents, no stalls, but I tell you, it's going to be slow going. It's slow going right now. Yellowhead westbound at the Fort Road. I'll update traffic once again in five minutes. Sharky checking traffic on the K97 Breakfast Club for Midas. Trust your car to Midas. The average Canadian earns about $100 or 10,000 dimes every single day. Oh, got time for Kim. Oh. What a deal. Another K97 classic. The Breakfast Club's Forgotten 45. Uh-oh. It's R.D. Taylor on the run. <laughs> Indiana wants me on K97. We're at two degrees. Indiana wants me. What is that god-awful racket? That's the vacuum. <laughs> vacuum cleaner. Well, tell them to cut it out. Hey, cut it out. I'm going to wake the whole Neighbors. building up. Well, before eight, as we clean Sharky's apartment, <laughs> is he yelling, neighbors? <laughs> on a Monday Live, two degrees with Sting on K97. Sting on K97, if I ever lose my faith, it's eight minutes before eight. Our temperature is two degrees, 10 for a high today, 14 tomorrow. Second call to get the kids off to school. K97, the Edmonton Sun, are presenting Fine Mom. It is your chance to get a share of $20,000 in prizes while supporting the Multiple Sclerosis Society. Okay, what you got to do is find Mom each day by identifying where Mom is in the Fine Mom cartoon in the Sun. This will start on the 1st of May, okay? Then you tune to K97's Breakfast Club each morning that week. Week where give away a thousand dollars and then on friday morning bring all the cartoons and entries to k97 world headquarters 102 108th street and drop them off you get a shot at winning fifteen thousand dollars fifteen thousand dollars now it's going to cost you ten bucks but that's a contribution to the multiple sclerosis society so you're doing good work right there and you could win big time this isn't big this is bigger than big entry forms are available in the sun if you need more information for 4713034. Again, the number 4713034. Bruce, neighbors of Barb Donalesco are now talking about beefing up security in their own homes. I'll have an Euler update for you. And did you guys hear that story in the weekend about the Quebec couple that went to New York to uh, report that their baby had been abducted? Yeah. What a strange story. All the details Weekly. from the K97 newsroom at 8 o'clock. Ho, ho, ho. It's time to play K97's Showtime. Up for grabs, it is your chance to attend the Rocky Horror Picture Show this Saturday at the Garneau Theater. Not only is it a fabulous movie, we encourage everybody to dress in costume. You got a shot at winning great prizes from Wizard T-shirts, and someone in attendance will win tickets to see Meatloaf. So, to win that baby, have a listen. Here's today's clip. Edible paper. See? Eat it, it's gone. Eat it, it's out of there. He's an ideas man. He became a love broker. Name the movie, 4518097. Five before eight as the cleaning continues at Sharky's house. His mom's doing a crack-up job in the kitchen right now. Sharky, of course, has done nothing. What do you got in traffic, Sharky? Thank you very much. We have construction to watch for. Slow going this morning. Yellowhead westbound. That's at the Fort Road. Let us know about it. 4518097. Near 10 Mobility Network. Toll free. Star 973. Sharky checking traffic on the K97 Breakfast Club. 
CIRKFM 97.3, Edmonton's classic hits, K97. Hey, Bruce, we have Michelle on the line. Hi. Thanks, Terry. Hi, Michelle. Hi. What's that movie we're looking for? Hey, That's the correct answer. Hey! Good going, Michelle. We got tickets for you to see Rocky Horror, Garnel Theater's Night Owl feature on Saturday. You ever seen it before? Yes, actually, I have. What are you going dressed as? Oh, I haven't decided yet. Wear a costume, get a chance at great prizes. Also, you a classic club member? Yes, I am. Hey! Also, we have for you a free eight-piece wing meal deal from Pizza 73. Have you tried them yet? No, I actually haven't yet. John says they're fabulous, so enjoy your wings and have a nice time at the movie, okay? Great, thank you. See you, Michelle. Bye. Bye. Three minutes now before 8. We'll check in with James St. James, 8.10 this morning. It's 2 degrees with Backfinger. It's Rob Berg for The Drive. Today, it's our salute to the secretaries. Plus, I've got the pizza and I've got the strawberries today with the K97 Drive. Wow, okay. We'll be joining you, Rob. Right now, we're at 2 degrees, 10 for a high today. Warming up as we get into the week. Springtime finally here. And spring cleaning is here Monday morning live from Sharky's house. It's The Breakfast Club, 8 o'clock. And Sharon Mallon's here with a K97 information update. All right, Bruce. City police are still searching for a third person in connection with the Donalesco murder. Two teens were arrested in connection with the stabbing. Barry Harrison, K97. News. It is 8.03. More playoff action tonight. Details on that when we check in with K97 Sports. At McDonald's today. Three minutes after eight, John Sexsmith here with K97 Sports. And boy, the Rangers looked pretty good yesterday. Yes, they did indeed. Mark Messier and Sergei Zubov each picked up three points and leading the men from Madison to a 6 nothing victory over the Islanders in game one of their series. We're destined for double digits in terms of temperatures. Sharon has K97 satellite weather next. This is the best remedy for people who wear work boots. Sharon, a nice looking morning this morning. It is nice. Bright and sunny. It's going to be sunny all day today and tomorrow. Up to 10 tomorrow, 14 Tuesday. Only better for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Highs between 16 and 18 degrees. Tonight, we slip down to minus one. In our fair city this morning, it's sunny. We're at three degrees. It is 8.07. I'm Sharon Mallon with Sharky, Johnny Sexsmith, and Bruce Kenny in the K97 Breakfast Club Monday morning live as we help out our little buddy. We're spring cleaning at Sharky's place. And doing a damn fine job, i got to tell you. Mm-hmm. Next up, we tackle the bedroom. Who knows what kind of surprises we'll find in there. <laughs> we'll chat with James A. James in a couple of minutes' time. It's Melissa Etheridge on K97's Breakfast Club. I would die. Melissa Etheridge on K97 coming to my window. Buy gum. Sounds like the 808 Airbus right on time off to Calgary. Are the jets always as loud here? Always. Yeah, really. How do you sleep through that? Of course, you're always at work. Yeah. Right. <laughs> certain hour at Bing. night. Sharon was just leafing through your drawers. You, you know, know what? Sharky, Sharky folds his little shorts, Bruce. Isn't that cute? All of his little shorts are in a little drawer right by his little socks, all folded up. It's you fold cute. your underwear? Yeah, I always do. Uh, don't you? F- no, I don't. Please. You Bruce, should, you know. Bruce Harley washes his much less. I, uh, really? I got two pair. I wear one pair for two weeks, and oh. then I wear the other anyway, pair for Anyway, I like Sharkies weeks. are all gray. They weren't that way, but you know how Sharky has a problem washing laundry? With bleach. Everything you need turns bleach. gray, so they're all gray. <laughs> and you know what? You can get more drawers in your drawers if, if you, you iron them. them. I hadn't thought of that, what? John. Well, I guess I'll nice. have to get on that. You don't iron your skivvies, do you? Oh, come on. Oh. I tell you, the things you learn about people when you work with them <laughs> long enough. It's 10 minutes after 8 as we continue the cleanup work here at Sharky's. Uh, what do you got for us traffic-wise, Sharky? I can't believe she went through my drawers. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, we have no accidents, no stalls this morning, but watch for construction. And get your cash in a flash. I don't believe what you're doing today. Nor do we. Do you think you're going to clean that place in one day? <laughs> I don't think so. Huh? All right, let's get the news. Now, as his love life appears to be in total disarray, Sly Stallone's mother is telling anyone who will listen that her famous son doesn't know beans when it comes to picking out the right woman. Oh, yeah? Now, Sly's mom, uh, a lady by the name of Jackie Stallone, yeah. hasn't liked any of his wives and or girlfriends. That's right. And she's very worried that Sly will fall for his current leading lady, Sharon Stone. Oh, really? In fact, Sly's mom has been quoted calling Sharon, this is her quote, the tramp of the decade. <laughs> now, the solution to Sly's problems of the heart? What would mm-hmm. that be? Well, Jackie's got a solution. Okay. Uh, you might like this one. Yeah, yeah, she says that Sly should find a, quote, 
decent Canadian woman. Oh. There you go, Sharon. <laughs> oh. They're all decent. We know that, That's right, right yes. All right, Elton, <laughs> as you might have heard, the buzz in Hollywood today surrounds the rumored breakup of Roseanne and Tom Arnold. That's right. right. Yeah. Now, some are saying that she's filing for divorce as early as today, while others are saying that he is fooling around with his cute little assistant, who you might remember last December became part of right. what they called the a three-way marriage. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Now, my question, if their little menage a trois was a legal marriage, well, then how can Tom's wife be upset if he's fooling around with his other wife? Right. Wow, wait a minute. Yeah, I say all three of these people deserve each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put all three in a bag, put the bag in the closet, lock the closet, and throw away the key. Oh, James. <laughs> you can tell she's not a decent Canadian woman. No. Right? There right. you go. Have a great day. Proud to be part of the K97 Breakfast Club. I'm James St. James.